we got a lot of games this month. Seems like Cozy Game Dev has finally come out one by one and launched their game for us to play. With the amount of games we have this time, I'm sure everyone can find a few games that you love. And I can't wait to tell you all new Cozy Game release in March 2024. Let's start with Sanya, a game that will remind you to your childhood. You will go back to the 90s as a kid who lived in a post-Soviet neighborhood. Here, you get to meet a lot of characters who will give you quests or mission to complete. There are hidden characters and side quests, so you really need to explore the area and find out all of the secrets. What I love about this game is the numerous mini games that you can do throughout the journey that will make exploring more fun. The best thing is, you get to befriend a puppy who will be your best friend in this story. If you are interested, Sanya rules on PC on March 1st. Next, we have a cute RPG called Petal Cakes. Here you will play as, well, a cake, on a mission to uncover mystery around Pastelaria. You get to customize your cupcake hero with cute and colorful frosting. Then you can explore the town to find guests given by the resident that can turn your journey to fire's direction. When you find monster, you need to decide whether to fight or befriend them. I really love all of their characters, and the pastel color graphic makes this game look really good. So if you want a cute RPG game like this, Battle Cakes release on PC on March 1st. If you like to play board game, then why not play it as a digital game too? In Guild and Cats of Calico, you get to create the best guild for cats by combining colors and pattern. Its design that you create will give points, then attract cats to come and enjoy the new bedding. However, its cat has their own preference, so you need to find out what they like if you want to invite specific cats. This game can be played in solo or multiplayer mode. There's also a story mode where you get to be a quilter who wants to gain success in a city filled with cats worshiper. If you want to see the board game alive, Ghosts and Cats of Calico release on Switch and PC on March 5th. Next is a game for you who love action and farming called Flora Measure, Seed and Spouse. As the last Flora Measure, your duty is to protect the forest from robots that tries to destroy it. And to do it, you need to learn spells by growing plants and nurture them. The plant will allow you to use magic and unlock new abilities that can be used to fight. You can also explore the world to find various characters and the flower merchant. I think this game is very unique and can be a cozy alternative for those who like action game. If you are interested, Fromancer, Seeds and Spell comes to PC on March 5th. If you love styling your hair, then you might like Hairdresser Simulator. This game allows you to do everything that a hairdresser do from designing a salon to treating your customer. You get to do them step by step to make sure that your customer gets the perfect style. But do not forget that you also need to manage the salon economy and environment. I think this will be a unique simulation game especially if you love styling your hair. Hairdresser Simulator comes to PC on March 6th and will be coming to console in the future. For my cooking game lover, I have Nova Core Chaos for you. The menu in this game is different than other cooking games since here you will be making energy core inside of real food. Since this game has sci-fi theme, you will be controlling robot called Nova who will cook the energy core for the customer. Each Nova has their own ability which helps to speed up the workflow. There are 20 different combinations of energy core that you can make, so you need to be careful to not give the wrong core. Do not worry as you can play the game alone or in co-op with up to 5 players at once. I think this will be a fun game to play with your friends. And the best thing is, the game is free, so make sure to get Nova Core Chaos when it releases on March 7 on PC. Next, we have a cozy musical adventure that I'm sure a lot of people have been waiting for called Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley. Here, you will be playing as Snufkin on a mission to restore Moomin Valley. To do that, you need to explore the valley to meet 50 characters and creatures that live in the valley. Then you need to solve puzzle using stealth and melodic element. I really love the storybook graphic used in this game since they look so pretty. So if you love Snufkin, then you need to check when Snufkin Melody of Moomin Valley release on Switch and PC on March 7. For my witch game lover, I have Potion, a coolest style for you. Here you will follow Luna's journey as he explores a fairy tale world to become Potion Master. To create the potion, you need to gather resources from Siphon Biomes, then combine it to craft over a hundred unique potion. Wow, that's a lot of potion. You will also find puzzles along the way which you can solve using potion. But combat is not always the answer when facing enemies, so you need to find a unique way to use the potion. 
And I think the story in this game will be very interesting as the characters are all fairy tale characters which surely have unique stories to tell. Potion, a curious tale, comes to PC on March 7. Next, we have a retour inspired game called A Twisted Tale. You will follow Fio as you explore various realms filled with quirky characters, twists, and riddles. This game also uses a lot of reference from various classic stories which will add more nostalgia to those who experience it. This game uses a point-and-click system which allows you to fully explore everything on the traditionally hand-drawn world. Every decision that you make will affect the game as there are a few alternative endings that you can get. I think the story will be funny but surreal at the same time. If you are interested, A Twisted Tale comes to PC on March 7. If you love creature collection, then you need to check Time to Morph. Here you can take care of playful creatures called Morph who will help you to collect resources and build your home. So you need to explore the world to collect more creatures. You can also decorate your world with various items, planting tree, even terraform the area to your liking. There are a few NPCs that you can befriend who will give you tasks to complete. This game also has automation system, which I think makes the gameplay interesting as you build the network. You can even play the game in co-op with up to 4 players at once. Time to Morph comes to Steam Early Access on March 7. This city builder is very different from other city builders since in Summer House you have all of the freedom. There's no rule or even goal, so you can't win or lose. All you do is to enjoy a chill game and build, but sometimes you will find little secrets during the process. There are different biomes that you can build on, the sea, the city, or the mountain which all look very cozy. If this is your cup of tea, then you need to check Summer House when it releases on PC on March 8. For my cat lover, I have Cat and Onion for you. Here you will play as a cat who goes and explores whimsical world to places where cats never go before. You can collect items and talk to fire quirky characters. There's no combat in this game, so you can explore the world without worry. As far as this short game when Cats and Onion comes out on PC on March 12. If you have been waiting for Hotel Renovator to come to console, now the time has come. In this game, you will be designing your own hotel using over 2000 items from different themes like modern, funky, retro, and cozy. After that, you have to manage your hotel and add more amenities to attract more customers. In story mode, you will meet VIP clients that will allow you to know the secret of the family hotel. Hotel Renovator has been released on PC since last year, and now finally available on Xbox and PS5 on March 12. Next, we have a cozy adventure game called Passing By A Tailwind Journey. As currently, you can use a paddle ship to travel from island to island delivering mysterious ladder. There are puzzles that you need to solve and ancient secrets to uncover on each island. You will meet unique inhabitants and other travelers who will share their tales. You can customize your balance ship using various design and attachments to make it cozy. I think this game will bring a wholesome story to follow. If you are interested, passing by a tailwind journey comes on Switch and PC on March 12. For my farming game lover, don't worry, I don't forget about you because we have Lightyear Frontier, a sci-fi themed farming game. Here, you will be using a Mac to do everything from exploring, building, even farming. You can customize the Mac with various parts and tools that you can upgrade to increase its ability. Then you can use it to clean up pollution, cleaning out weeds, and plant alien crops. You can get the seed from exploring various parts of the planet which filled with ancient secrets and lost knowledge. Then you can sell the crops for credit or use it as materials for upgrades and building. This game can be played in co-op with up to 4 players at once. I think having to use Mac to farm will make the gameplay feel different and unique. Lightyear Frontier comes to early access on PC and Xbox on March 19. A lot of people have been enjoying House Believer 2 on PC. And now it's time for console players to experience this game too. In the sequel, the game brings new features besides revamping the original. Now you can renovate a house, even build it from scratch using any design that you like. With their story and sandbox modes, I think this game has become more crazier than before. So if you've been waiting for this console release, House Viper 2 finally coming to Xbox and PS5 on March 21st. As cozy gamer, I think you will like cozy room decorator. Cause in this game, you can create your own cozy room using thousands of items. You heard that right, thousands. 
You can mix and match even merge item to create a new item which I think would be useful if you love designing. You're not only able to create bedroom but also kitchen, bathroom, living room, basically the entire house. The best thing is there is no in-game currency, so you don't need to buy anything and just freely decorate the room. If you like this type of game, make sure to check Cozy Room Decorator when it releases for PC on March 22nd. As someone that played Mario games when I was a kid, I've been waiting for this next game since it's the first game where Princess Peach become the main character since 2005. In Princess Peach Showtime, you can control and use her numerous transformations to help save the Sparkle Theater. You get to be a sword fighter, mermaid, detective, figure skater, and more. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite is Call Girl Peach because you get to ride a cool looking horse. And I think this is the time when we can see different sides of Princess Peach as each transformation will bring different abilities which we never seen before. This also means that the gameplay will be varied, so it will be more enjoyable to play the game and you won't be bored. Princess Peach Showtime coming to Switch on March 22nd. Next is another favorite game that many PC players have enjoyed. Planet Zoo finally getting console release this month. Here you get to build a zoo and design it any way you want. The customization is pretty wild in this game. You can even change the landscape if you want. All of the animals also look very cute although they are more on a realistic side. Don't forget you also need to do the management which include hiring staff, selling merch, taking care of the animals and so on. If you have been waiting, Final 2 finally comes to Xbox and PS5 on March 26. And if you pre-order the game, you'll even get 3 Unix animal. This game might be for kids, but honestly I would play it cause it looks so cute. In Farming Simulator Kids, you will learn how to be a farmer. You get to do all of the farming related activities like growing crops, processing things, harvesting, taking care of animals and more. I love all the cute animals that wander around the farm. And I think this is the perfect first game for any kids who want to try playing cozy game. So if you have kids or niece and nephew, then you can get them farming simulator kits when it releases on Switch and mobile on March 22nd. And if you buy the Switch version, you will also get 12 pages of coloring book. This next game, I'm actually not sure if it will be released this month or not because just the other day, the dev said their laptop broke, so they can't work on the update. But just in case, I'll still include Procula in this video because I think this game has pretty unique premises. In this live sim, you will play as a vampire who woke up after 500 years. So now you have to survive by working part-time job on various local shop as well as growing crops in your farm. On top of that, you also need to repair your rune castle and reclaim its ownership while working to build your coal to get the blood supply that you need. It's really funny how a vampire has the exact same problem as us humans, so I think this game would be very interesting. If the dev managed to repair their laptop, then I hope Brokura will still release on Steam on March 22nd. Next, we have a cozy exploration game called Distant Bloom. You arrive on an alien planet on a mission to build new home for your species. But turns out, the planet is in very bad condition, so you need to restore the planet to its blooming past using the power of plants. You can use your harvest as an ingredient to make tools, recipe, and items to upgrade your home base. Don't forget, you also need to reunite your scattered crew and build a community while listening to their story. I really love how cozy the world looks and I think there's a secret story about the planet that we can learn. If you are interested, this time Bloom comes to PC on March 27th. I'm interested to end living because of its dark vibe which I think some cozy gamers also like. You will play as a kid who woke up by the whisper of the last leaf. Then you can explore imaginary worlds which created frame by frame using hand painting which makes the environment look surreal. The game combines platformer and puzzle gameplay to tell story which I think will be very emotional. Unleaving comes to PC on March 27. Next is another alien planet exploration game, but in the last explorer you will be learning about creatures. This game has open world system which means there will be tons of creatures that you can find on land, air, and water. You can play mini games with the creatures or help them do quests. Don't forget to take beautiful photos and analyze it to learn what happened in the environment. The last explorer comes to PC on March 27. If you love crafting and cute robots, then you need to check Omega Crafter. Here you will explore a game world. Yes, it's game world inside a game. I don't know what's real anymore. 
Anyway, the world is being attacked by mysterious programs, so you need to find monsters that hinder the game development. To do it, you get to use programmable character called Grammy who will help you to collect and craft items and build your tombs. Then you can explore the world which consists of multiple biomes, all with different landscape, material, and hidden secrets. The best thing is, you can play this game online with your friends. Omega Crafter comes to Steam Early Access on March 28th. If you have played Shia before, then this game finally coming to Steam this month, but they still have not revealed the release date yet. With this release, the game also gets a lot of quality of life updates such as randomized costume, human torch, faster flip, faster bolt, and more. There's also infinite soul meter, which means you will get to use your power forever. I think a lot of this update will make this game even cosier. And if you want another cozy game to play, check my February new cozy game release video.